I don't even know if I want to tell you to go see this movie or to go watch this movie. I do want you to buy it. This one's gonna be tough. Here we go. <laughs> it's hard to have the right energy for this. Welcome back to Hanging with the Herons on another 365 movies in 365 days in 3 minutes and 65 seconds. This is... My name is James. Today we have Dear Zachary, a letter to his son about his father. I couldn't even watch this movie, to be honest with you, again. I'm gonna be real straightforward. This is a really hard film to watch. And I'm super torn about telling you about it and about setting the right expectations for you. I really feel like it's important to watch this film for sure. I don't know where I came about seeing this film. I believe just in browsing, Jennifer and I decided to watch the trailer for it. I highly recommend watching the trailer for it. It will hook you. It is a excellent trailer. One of the best I've probably ever seen. We watched the film. This film is probably the most impactful film I've ever watched. As far as the emotional response that it invoked in Jennifer and myself. I can tell you that after finishing the film, my throat was on fire. My face hurt. It just burned from the overwhelming amount of holding back tears. I do want to encourage people to watch this film because the triumph that the filmmaker had to overcome to make this film I think is worth acknowledging. The cast is real people. It's a documentary. Kurt, I apologize, I'm gonna mess up your last name. Kurt Quinn, he does a phenomenal job of narrating and directing and producing this film. And it's for a great cause. The best thing I can tell you about this film is that two years later after the making of this film, changes happened in the law that needed to happen. That's how impactful this film was, not only on an emotional level, but on a legality level, on a legal level. This needed to change things imperatively. This film was crucial in that, I believe, and the Bagby's story. I was so relieved to hear that some good had come of this. We did feel like we wanted to pay tribute to the cause that this film was involved in, so we did buy the film. A tribute to this story was very worthwhile. I almost consider not having it in the collection. It's a little bit of a downer considering all of our moods lately have been a lot of positive and upbeat and our films have been really exciting and I love talking film. And I didn't want to stray from this one being that it's in our collection. We do feel passionate about it. We have been moved by it. That's what I like about this whole ordeal is that I'm sharing a piece of my heart and excitement and enjoyment and fulfillment and love and heartbreak and creativity and all the wonderful things that come along with film, the stories that are told, messages that are passed on. So this is no different and I just wanted to share that with you all. I really appreciate you guys for watching. I know this one wasn't as much fun. It's just a tough film to watch for sure. I just want to be real and honest with you guys on that and let you know that that's where we're at with that and that this is a film in our collection that we find very dear to our hearts. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, James hanging with the Herons on another 365 movies in 365 days in 3 minutes and 65 seconds. As always, please do comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this film if you've seen it and if you haven't seen it, go watch it and come back and let us know what you think. As always, peace.